Hi, I'm Sillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint a wet wet landscape painting in oil color. Rainbow Mountains! Enjoy! So we have here a canvas covered in thin white paint. And starting at the upper edge of the sky, we'll put our strongest blue color and working our way downwards leaving spaces for uh, cloudiness we gradually get lighter and lighter and we're using a basic crisscross stroke throughout and then smoothing it off with the horizontal strokes from side to side And that sky is gradually going to go towards a darker gray. And here we have some long fluffy clouds extending over the sky towards the horizon. And there's that dark cloudy edge on the bottom and on the edge of each cloud and with a clean brush we'll just soften those clouds and blend them out together making sure not to completely blend it into the sky just leave an edge so that they still look like clouds Now these rainbow mountains really do exist. They have different parts of the world. Um, it's formed from different uh, layers of colorful sand and rock on top of each other that make these colorful stripes in red, yellow, green, blue. And they look really weird. But they're very pretty. Not your typical kind of mountain. In fact, when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was fake. And then I realized that, well, depending on what angle you look at it from, and with the lighting, sh the light shining off of it, makes it look like how bright and fake it looks. It could look actually quite Dreary, dreary from up close. It just depends how close your eyes are to the rocks and sand. So for the very furthest away, we put darker, blander colors and blend them into the sky with the brush. We just tapped it into to blend it with the horizon. And coming up a little bit closer and working in sort of in that like a zigzag pattern put layers of green, yellow, pink, and some red. So I was trying to copy the Rainbow Mountains of China. I know that there are also ones in Peru. I think that their color is not as bright as the ones in China. It's a darker red, not as bright red or magenta like the ones in, in China. So we'll put red and yellow as the dominating colors. And using the side of the brush, just tap one stroke next to the other. To make these long lines and try to overlap the layers of rock one with the next without leaving too many spaces.
and I'll try to make this front mountain really stand out since it's the closest. I'll give it a bright yellow stripe down the middle to really catch the attention. And just fill in the empty spaces with more color and add dark color in whatever places you want to be the shadowy parts. And here we're using the palette knife to bring out that dark color that we put down in that small valley area to bring it up the sides of the mountain and make the rocks and sand look a little bit messy. And we'll also use that palette knife to make a line down the middle. Since we bring it down on one side, it forms a line down the center to show where the peak is. Even though you're supposed to work on paintings from the furthest away until the, to the closest up, so you start from the sky and look downwards towards the horizon and from the horizon you move in towards where you are supposedly standing and looking at the beautiful view. If necessary you can go back and fix parts of the background and horizon that are not looking the way you want them to. So you see that even after I finished the, the front peaks I went back to the horizon and darkened a little bit in the valleys and all the way up against the horizon and darkened the peaks. So these mountains they really do exist and they're basically just sand, stone, rock, and they're really pretty. They're very colorful. It's hard to choose which picture to copy from, so I sort of chose to and mixed them up. And here we're just blending the horizon with the sky, using that big brush to tap out 